Welcome back to another in the garage vlog. It's about 25 degrees outside, sunny but cold, and I have got a vintage refrigerator from the 60s that weighs probably about 350 pounds at least. It's on the back of my truck right now. Before I even unload this fridge, I'm going to take the blower, blow off probably about 50 years of crud, at least 50 years of crud. I don't think anybody, you know, cleans the bottom of their fridge, turns it upside down, that kind of thing, so. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It's pretty damn gross, but it'll all clean up. First step is better lighting in here. I think this tells the fridge what temperature it's at, and I think it's called a thermocouple. Is it gonna fit in here? Ah, so close. Yet yeah, not happening. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Okay, uh, step two. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's try number three. Doesn't seem to work. I got another trick. This is that. This is the perfect bulb. I don't know about the perfect bulb, but it's a bulb. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I have my morning coffee here. This fridge is almost done being cleaned. It's not really a restoration, it's really just a deep cleaning. It's probably about 30, well let's, let's see what temperature it is in here. Making a little bit of cleaning headway in this bad boy. She's looking real nice. two days later. Used almost a whole roll of paper towels. Still have to clean the uh, freezer part. Took some time this morning since it's so nice out to ride my motorbike. Can't wait for summer. It's day three on this refrigerator cleaning pseudo restoration. Freshly waxed. I used this buffer, some uh, Meguiar's cleaner wax, which the bottle just broke open. So you can tell that's old, so that's good. I'm gonna try to get it in the house. We'll see how it goes. And then, uh, and that's gonna do it for this vlog. Thanks for watching.
day three, the fridge is done, cleaned it out, got it in the house, and got all the food in it. It looks nice. It looks good. There's only one problem.